Hey, what's up guys? This is Vishu from Geek Starts. So in this video, I'm just going to give you a brief introduction about the cloud and AWS. And then we'll go on to launch a virtual machine in our next video. So before we start, first things first, what is the cloud? A cloud is nothing but a virtual machine which resides somewhere on the internet. You can configure that machine in any way you want and it would be ready within seconds. And the best part is it is available 24 seven. Why? Because it lives on the internet. So if your internet is down, it doesn't matter. If your ISP's internet is down, it doesn't matter because it is actually living on the internet. So as long as the internet is up and running, as long as you are able to connect to your cloud provider, your server would be running. And if you go through the FAQs of AWS EC2, you would find that it has somewhere around like 99.95% of uptime, which is a lot when you like consider a year. So it's like you don't even have to buy some hardware, like you just select whatever you want and that would be present in your virtual machine. So that's like the best part about a virtual machine that resides on the internet. So this is the basic dashboard of AWS and they always keep changing this. So the best way to remember everything you need is to go through services and search for what you want. We would only be dealing with EC2 in these tutorials, but they have categorized all their services properly so it's easy to understand what like which service does what so vpc is for networking cloud front is for networking and content delivery route 53 is like the dns for amazon and we also have storage glacier efs s3 but we'll be working with ec2 in this video Again, we are not going to do any coding. We are just going to configure our machine on the cloud and deploy a Java application. And there's some things that you should know about the cloud. So you can go through my article on cloud computing. You can read why we should use the cloud, but this is like the most important part. There are few more services, but this is like the core, service, core services that we had. Uh, one is infrastructure as a service where you build your own infrastructure. You can build your own network with any number of machines that you want and you can configure them in any way. You can put two machines in the public subnet. You can put two other machines in the private subnet. You can do any kind of shit that you want. The second is platform as a service, which means that if you are a Python developer and someone gives you a C++ code and you want to run it, you don't have to install the application interpreter and compiler for C++. You just go to the platform, like a cloud provider would actually give you platforms to run your code. So you don't have to install anything. So if you get like three different codes of in three different language, you don't have to go and install those things. You just need to run it on the cloud. And the third is software as a service. If you need a software for a day or two, you don't have to buy a license for an year or for you have to, or you don't have to pay for a month. You just go there, use the service and you pay for whatever amount of time you use it and you like exit from it. So it saves you a lot of money. So these are like the core categories of cloud. You also have metal as a service, but I won't go into that right now. So this is like the basics of cloud these are all the companies that uses cloud and you can see like there are few companies that you use every day and there are types of cloud infrastructure public cloud is one which is publicly accessible like aws dropbox amazon and facebook they have their own public clouds there's a private cloud which is only confined to your company or your house which can't be accessible through the internet unless you have the login if you create a login for someone to access it 
and the third is hybrid where you create something for your LAN or for your house or for your company which has private data but you can still like have public servers public services send data to it so that is like the hybrid cloud so that's it for this video in the next video we will be starting our virtual machine